taken some voluminous cauliflower oatmeal this morning. Look at that. So you have to keep stirring it with a fork. And I just, I put it in the microwave and I take it out and I just keep stirring it to, I guess, whatever consistency you want. But what I do is I do 100 grams of rice cauliflower. I microwave it and then I add it into my blender. And then I put dry oatmeal. 40 grams and then I also add in I don't know around 150 give or take grams of egg whites so this is cooked this is raw this is obviously raw I put like 150 grams I put it in my nutri bullet I blend it all up I also add some water in here too and then I pour it in a big bowl like this and I just microwave it and I whisk it up with a fork. I'm going to be adding some chocolate thrive. Just a little bit. I put like 12 to 15 grams. So six. Yeah. Then stir this baby up. This is what I'm going to choose for my toppings. I love adding the frozen blueberries on here. But I am going to put some cinnamon on here. Got some ground cinnamon. There we go. And then adding my toppings. There we go. You know, sometimes I want something sweet in the morning. Sometimes I'm not craving something sweet. It's just like egg whites. Oh, well, this morning I'm obviously wanting something sweet. So there we have it. I'm going to add 10 grams of this. Oh, 15. Okay, there we go. Hello. I was supposed to vlog today. I only showed you my first meal, but honestly, haven't been doing anything, to be completely honest. Um, it's May 2nd, it's Saturday, and I don't know, what have we done today, Kyle? We've done absolutely nothing. We're over this quarantine. I've been working, I worked. Oh, yes, we did, we did work. Um, yeah, we did work a little bit just because USA's um, is postponed. So we're actually going to get on our Facebook group right now. It's about 6 o'clock p.m. right now. And we're going to do a Facebook Live. We always like to do this. I mean, honestly, it's been quite some time. But it's just good for us to um, kind of like all connect together in a way. Kyle wants to try out the Zoom. Maybe we'll try that out one of these days but yeah that's what we're doing uh i'll probably film way more tomorrow but yeah just didn't really do too much today oh you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna drink some wine tonight it's been so long since i've had alcohol so i actually got some wine you guys i'm gonna enjoy this i'm going to have maybe four or five ounces of some wine. Um, last time I drank was uh, New Year's, I'm pretty sure, I think so. So yeah, I'm reverse dieting. Maybe I can catch you guys up on all that tomorrow. I can catch you up on what I'm doing. Have you not caught them up yet? I have not caught them up on what I'm doing. I know guys, the plan, it's always changing, right? It's, it's a crazy time right now. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I'll definitely tell you what I'm doing. So, okay, let's do this Facebook Live. Let's do it. Well, that was fun. We just wrapped up our live with our athletes here. And yeah, that was about like an hour. So we just ended, just ended the live. But... 
I want a glass of wine now. I want, I want to have a glass of wine and then we're gonna sit out there on our two chairs and look at our beautiful backyard. That's what I want to do, Kyle. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's open this up. How many ounces should I have? Six? Is that a lot? Just a bottle. What? I can't drink the bottle. I haven't had alcohol in a very long time. I'm not a big alcohol person, to be honest. I just like having one glass. Like one glass of wine, that's enough for me. Okay. Here we go. You gotta weigh out your wine on your food scale. Get your food scale. This is, I need to clean this thing. Who else has the dirty food scale? So I'm gonna scan the back of this wine to see how many calories are in it. What I do is I just scan the back of it. And it's in this wine it says, and for five ounces it's saying it's 122 calories. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to um, yeah, use those calories towards my carbs and a little bit of my fat. So I'm just going to use it towards carbs and as you can see here, 30 grams of carbs is 120 calories. So I'm just going to use that towards my 5 ounces of wine. Cheers. Mmm, this is my favorite wine ever. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is so good, oh my gosh. This wine right here, you guys have to try it. And I am really specific on like the wine that I like. This is absolutely what I love in a wine. So good, this is, oh my gosh. Okay, hello, hello. So, I thought I would give you guys an update on what's going on. <laughs> Another weekly update from me. So today is Monday, May 4th. And I'm thinking we're going on, I don't know, I kind of lost track, but week, maybe we're going on week seven for me in this quarantine. So, um, yeah, last time I talked to you guys, I was aiming for shows in the June time frame, but we found out that, yeah, most of the shows that I was personally aiming for have been postponed. So I was aiming for um, one of Tim Gardner's shows, like the Atlantic Coast, but that's now postponed till I think October time frame or something, or maybe November. And then there was another. There was another one I was I was aiming for. Oh, Miami. So I was aiming for two shows in Florida: the Miami Muscle Beach pro and then Tim Gardner show. So yeah, we found out that those have been postponed and Miami has actually canceled until you know next year. So um, what we have been doing is reversing. So I've been reversing for about a week now and that is just like the plan for me as of right now. Um, and yeah, we're just tapering up my calories. I'm eating more um, calories. I'm doing less cardio now. And I'm trying to maintain my weight, if not slightly gain. Kyle does want the scale going up. He doesn't want it going down. And today, he actually just boosted my calories up a little bit more just because I, the scale is not where he wants it to be. Um, we do want the scale going up slightly. Um, we don't obviously don't want to be putting on body fat, but I'm 
my period is supposed to come in like a week-ish from now. And like the goal is to make sure that I do get that, that period. Um, I'm very pretty lean right now. Um, yeah, because I was getting ready obviously for those shows. So I had probably about like three-ish, maybe five-ish pounds to drop just to get, you know, my glutes in. So obviously I don't want to be that lean right now. So we're tapering up the food so I um, can, I don't want to lose muscle. You know, that, that's the main reason why I don't want to stay so lean is because I need to, I don't want to be losing muscle, you know. Um, and honestly, like I'm not really upset that the shows have been postponed. Like it really doesn't, have, it doesn't affect me. Like, yeah, it's a bummer. Like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to step on stage in June and I'm, pro you're probably not going to see me on stage in July either just to be open. Um, I don't really plan on competing, um, until probably in the fall time, if not maybe 2021. Um, but honestly, like. I'm not really upset because this is like the lifestyle I live. I'm always living this lifestyle. Um, I'm always counting my macronutrients and I'm training and like it doesn't affect me in any way because it's just the way I live. Um, and everything that I just did and everything that I am doing right now, I mean, it all adds up over time. So everything that I just did, like I started dieting back in January to get ready for this season, you know, to get ready for May shows, June shows, like this was, that's what I wanted to do. Um, so I started dieting what? That was probably like 15-ish 15 15-ish weeks ago, or maybe we're going on 17 or something like that. But um, yeah, I mean, we did a cutting, we did a, a diet break at one point, um, we went to, to cutting again and now reversing. And honestly, I am so proud of the progress that I have made <laughs> during this time. I mean, it's really crazy. Um, and that's why I'm so proud and I'm so happy because everything that I'm doing, it, it adds up, seriously. And um, so everything that I just did, it will add up on the sta stage next time I step up on there or, or years from now it will be revealed. Yeah, so I appreciate you guys following along on this um, journey with me. Um, I just like being transparent and taking you guys along. I know this whole thing started off with me doing a mini cut <laughs> and, then it's, and then we did a reverse and then I was like, I wanna compete. And then we did that, and then we did a diet break, and I know it's just been like all up and down, a roller coaster or whatever, but um, that's just what's kind of been going on this year with everything, and I just like bringing you guys along on my journey and stuff. So um, keep, stay tuned for what I'm doing. You know, the, the, the plan is obviously always changing, but as of right now, I am reversing because I don't need to be super lean and I'm not planning on competing in the July time frame. Like I said, it might be the fall. So my goal right now is to obviously nail my reverse and um, try not to be putting on unnecessary amount of body fat. You know, I, I want to stay fairly tight and lean, but um, I do want to make sure that I'm hormonally in a good place where I do get my menstrual cycle in like a week or two when it's due. So. That's kind of our main priority right now. Hopefully my gym's open back up in like a week or two, I'm praying, and um, I can get back in there again and start you know, making some progress in there because yeah, I'm definitely itching to get back into the gym. And I know you guys all are as well, but uh, I cannot wait to get back in there. I know some gyms have already opened in like Georgia and um, I think some of my friends in Tennessee and stuff. So, oh, I was there, but okay. All right, that's the update. That's what I'm doing um, to give macros. Today, Kyle wants me hitting 275 grams of carbs. And then he's giving me like a higher calorie day just because he wants the scale to like go up. So we're doing like 65 fat, 150 protein, and 275 grams of carbs. So. 
that's what I'm eating today. And hopefully that scale, you know, spikes up. Maybe I'll like go out for a cheat meal this weekend, planning on hanging out with my mom for Mother's Day. So I'm um, thinking maybe we'll all go out and I can have like an untracked meal because I haven't ate out in a very long time. You guys saw I had alcohol yesterday or two days ago. I had a glass of wine. Um, so that was nice. It was like my first alcoholic beverage since New Year's. And then, yeah, I haven't had like an untracked meal in since I started like this whole prep thing, mini cut thing. So, um, yeah, looking forward to it. All right, we got these potatoes, 300 grams worth. It's Kyle's meal. Here we go, Kyle, Are you happy? <laughs> He's giving me more food. So, look at those carbs. like, I don't know, 70 carbs in this meal. So I got that, avocado, a burger, and then I'm gonna put um, some broccoli on that. Yeah, those will be the toppings. And then for broccoli, it's so, just a small amount. And usually I have a big salad with, I top it with a salad, but I'm not tonight because um, I don't need that volume. Look how good that looks. What are you watching with this? We're gonna watch Westworld, the grand finale. So we've been watching Westworld. What Can else you turn that off? What else have we been Please. watching? Sorry, I look gum. I look like a hot mess right now. Okay, so we're, what, what other shows have we been watching that are really good? We watched Westworld. Ozark. Oh yeah, okay. You guys watch Ozark, I'm sure. Um, Man, oh, Outer Banks. Kyle likes Outer Banks. <laughs> you guys seen Outer Banks? Yeah. You need to watch it. Outer Banks, uh, what else? No, you just want to watch when I'm out here. All right, I'm hungry. Okay, peace <laughs> out. <laughs> Catch up. Huh? We use metal barriers to create obstacles and random devices that the riders would use against the police. We're working with 300 background players dressed up in brave attire. Right now. Jonah said think converting that a little bit. So things said something wild. Alright, I don't know if this is true or not. I'm hoping it is, but I just popped up on my phone and looks like our gym is opening up on May 8th at 9 a.m. What? Oh my gosh. I really hope so. I really do. Today is, what's today? Today's May 5th. It's Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, it's May 5th and May 4th, which was yesterday. Our beaches in Florida opened back up. So a lot of people were at the beach yesterday because that's where Kyle and I have been working out at his uncle's place and we kind of drove by the beach and yeah, people were out there. There was a lot of cops and stuff, but I think Florida is finally opening back up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we'll see. I'm sure gonna be there on Friday. I don't know, but <laughs> I'm gonna be there. I'm not gonna get in trouble, right Kyle? That's what we're saying. But I'm like so eager to get back into my gym again. So yeah, I think, um, what's today? Today's Tuesday. We just have a few more days here. We're about to go to his aunt's house, aunt's cousin's house to go train legs. <sighs> just, I literally just go there just to do my pile squat. 
and an RDL because that's literally all I can really do over there. But yeah, 